now it's November 6th and these butterflies are still alive I took, the, took them out and put them in a smaller cage here this is the two, two males and two females they're barely alive this one's almost dead but uh, it's amazing that they survived this long and just feeding off of this dried or uh, uh, this fermented fruit in the bottom of the cage. I don't even have any flowers left in here anymore, but they continue to survive and continue to lay eggs. But so I got to put a stop to it because I just can't handle that many caterpillars. I don't have enough milkweed. So what I've done is I've taken the first two plants, uh, the first batch of milkweed here. Uh, the first batch of eggs and as we saw the other clip the caterpillars have hatched and they're starting eating and you can see the little holes in the leaves where the caterpillars are eating right there and uh, the second group of eggs is on here and I don't know just rough estimate I probably have 150 eggs all together and that's as, that's as far as I can go so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let these butterflies go uh, tomorrow morning and see if they can survive on their own and fly away but they really did a great job and thank you very much butterflies because now we have a lot of monarch caterpillars coming so I'm gonna pull this little plant out we'll, we'll look underneath and see uh, we'll check the eggs